Oh yeah, so I needed some wine after that last tangly bit. Oof. I still, I still cannot believe how massively tangled that was and the amount of flip and fringe and tassel on that necklace. Oh my goodness. I, I can't even. Hmm. Big Moscato for the win. Anyway, welcome back. My name is Dara. This is my channel, Bliss in the Chaos. Right now we are doing a jewelry unboxing video. My latest is a 32 pound lot of random jewelry from California, um, somewhere in California, I don't know. And this is video number five. I think I'm maybe halfway through the box, but you know, I don't really know. So let's dig in and see what else we can find. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Those feathers. Oh no. That's this is cool. Oh my goodness. Lovely. All right. I think this is what we'll go with. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm excited. Okay, so we got a whole big old thing here. We've got a kind of cheapy bangle I'm just gonna put in the free pile. This one's kind of fun. It's a silver tone bangle. Uh-oh. We've got a new with tags Betsy Johnson here. Let's see, new with tag Betsy Johnson. It was a $38 bracelet. It's got these faux pearls. It's a Betsy Johnson heart. It's got a sweet little bow and a pink gem. We've got a heart. We got a sweet little elephant. Oh, look at the sweet elephant. He's so cute. Gems seem to be all intact. Yeah, that's great. New with tag Betsy Johnson. Very, very cool. You gotta love it. This is amazingly neat. I really like this. I think it's just resin, plastic or resin. It needs to be cleaned, but it's really cool. It like goes from this darker black and it's like the lines over to the whiter, almost clear. That's really neat. Pretty bracelet. There's this guy. Ooh, he's really cool too. It's a faceted plastic bangle and you can see the variation in the blues inside. It's almost got some gold swirl. That's beautiful. We got some more of those little cheapy black bracelets. Here's a gold tone cuff bracelet. It's like the two, to two sides of it and it's got the line down there. That's simple and fun. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Oh, we've got a match to that earring. You remember we saw that before. My patriotic feathers. Very sweet. Okie dokie. See what else we've got in here. Ooh, here's a, another pearl stud. I've got that one in there. What do we have in here? It is tangled. Dang it. I thought I had it, but then I didn't. Here we go. Okay. Here's a lovely gold tone serpentine chain. Not marked anywhere. Really pretty though. It's in really good shape. Maybe just a smidge kinked. No, nothing, nothing major. That's a really nice one. Pretty little gold chain. Let's see. Oh, here's a bat. <laughs> little like resin bat earring. That's really cute. Um, let's see, we've got here a few just seed bead stretchy bracelets. Those are fun and cute. This one's fun too. It's very small though. Hmm, put that in the small kids pile. Here's an earring. There's this little, just a circle, gray. Okay. Oh, my boys are crazy. Okay, seriously? There we go. Okay, so we got a funky bangle. This is a double, what do you call that? Like a double wire line. 
and it's got these lovely rhinestones on it and it is marked oh this is a victoria's secret can you see in there i don't know it says victoria's secret that's really cool here's a stretchy these little plastic stones Ooh, this is kind of cool it's missing some gems though really Okay, this is like a stretchy little bracelet and it is missing some of the gems, but that'll go in a cheap or free pile or something. I don't know. That's too bad. Okay, this is cute. Oh, this is Betsy Johnson as well. See, Betsy Johnson. And it's a, just a cute little wrap faux leather bracelet with a adorable little bow. It's like three Betsy Johnson things I've gotten in here so far. Revlon. That's not Revlon. What does that say? Revion? Revion? That's not an L, that's an I. I swore it said Revlon though for a second. Oh well, anyway. It is a twisted rope gold tone bracelet. Very pretty. Got, oh, I was gonna say it was another fork and knife, but nope, it is just a little tie clip, whatnot, clip, whatever it is. It's a sweet little drop, black gem. Needs to be cleaned up, but whatever, it's cute. This is fun. It's a hand-painted shell earring and it's messed up on this edge here but that's pretty sweet that's cute mm, let's get rid of this shell yuck <laughs> there we go bangle okay this here is gold tone not marked at the at the top or anything and it's got some nice coral and aqua beads and these are shells and this is one of those mouthful of teeth shells that I really do not like and this circle and a lot of little droplets and stuff in those yucky teeth and I don't like that but who's to say somebody won't like it at my yard sale okay, okay what's this not marked. Oh, this is neat though. Hi, Cooper. My helper cat. It is a short kind of antique brassy gold tone. And it's got these um, resin top clear capuchons and then they, they have background. It's kind of like this swirly abalone look. Not really abalone, but it's cute. Stay. Oh, I should look at this. This is just a little police badge thingy. See the red gems are even missing, and yeah, that'll go to the lot. Ooh, goodness! Wow. Okay, let's see where the end of that is. Right here. Then this. Let's straighten it out a little bit. This is kind of cute. Very statementy. Lobster clasp, and then all these beads, and then this big old piece of, that's just plastic. It's got like grass in it. I suppose, I suppose it's supposed to look like waves. It's kind of neat. Beachy. Beachy keen. <laughs> okay, so this is a little stretch Christmas bracelet. It's got a little teddy bear in a stocking. Pretty cute. Another stretchy bracelet. Here's a, ooh, this is a pretty color. Like a very muted light type green. What would you call this? Not marked. Really pretty stones though. It's really nice. And then this pendant is nice too. That's really pretty. What else have we got? We've got another little bangle. What's this? This is 
another unmarked necklace. It's a definite ding dangle clank ability. <laughs> this is cute. Is it missing? It might be. Okay. Maybe it's just not supposed to be symmetrical. That always bothers me when it's not symmetrical. Oh well. Not everything has to go by my rule. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Are you still playing keep away with your Tic Tacs? Some more bangles. This is fun. Hey, Mom. Yeah, honey. Your, your mouse to the computer, your computer that looks like. I just got it because my other mouse was being very glitchy, so I bought myself a new one. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's kind of sleek, right? Yeah, so, I'll show you what he's talking about. This is my new mouse. It's nice. It's a jelly comb. Maybe I'll link it below if I feel like it. <laughs> this is a Steve Madden. That's cool. This is very cool gold tone and it's definitely like a choker collar type and these i don't think they're hematite they're probably just plastic but it's cool looking very cool looking i need a new box this box is overflowing <laughs> oh holy cow okay well, this is nice too the clasp is a little bit worn out these are just plastic beads but it's cute there's some cat eye in there Now, boink. We gotta... Okay, let's look at this one. This one has a lot of little, very shiny black gems all over, and I think they're all there. Looks like it. And it's a black chain, not marked or anything, but that's really sweet. I like it. Drop earring. That's cool, too. That's very cool. A bracelet. We've got some pearls. A little fuzzy in there. It's a stretchy, probably faux pearl. Yeah, the finish is coming all off of there, so that'll go to the lot. Up oh, here's another fork and knife. Here's another fork and knife. <laughs> These are the weirdest things ever. Here's a choker. Is it a choker? No, it's not a choker. I lied. <laughs> do, 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 do. The plot thickens. <laughs> Okie dokie. So it is kind of a choker. Okay, so it's got this leather braid. As no, that can't be, can it? It's really small the leather braid and this long part here that just goes on oh, this rondelle is all busted mm. oh and these are just the hangy tassely dudes they don't actually hook at the bottom so it's not broken you would either tie them or whatever but this looks really small not that i have a small neck or anything but yeah i suppose maybe it's choking me a bit but you know, maybe I just have a big neck. <laughs> wow. It's cute. Hmm. What next? What next? Let's get rid of this. We'll look at this one. It's a very matte colored silver tone chain. <laughs> Not marked or anything. It's interesting enough, I guess. This is cute. This is a bracelet. It is a gold tone. It has these little topazy colored rhinestones and then these topazy colored, um, gosh dang it. <laughs> what do you call those? Oh, little gems, I'll call them just in there. It looks like it's intact, no marks, but super pretty. I like it. 
blink. Okay, here we've got a random little <laughs> little brown puppy, like a chocolate lab in a Santa hat with a stocking. Very cute. Oh, here's the other one. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, here is a an earring. Not marked or anything. I think it's gold tone. Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lobster clasp, faux pearls, and then these little red plastic guys. That's nice. Pretty, pretty. Oh, look it. I have an earring that matches this. Not marked, but it's a little necklace with those funky like frosted flower things. So that would be a set if I find both of the earrings. So I'll set this to the side just in case. Let's look at this guy. Oh, this is magnetic. So we've got more earring backs attached to it. Ooh, this is very pretty. Okay, so it is magnetic and it just slides like that. That's really neat. Super pretty. I like that a lot. Go for this one. <laughs> this one. Oh, looks like it's going to be three tier B seed beads. Three tier seed beads. like that. And we've got like the goldy beads and the blue ones and then these sweet little like glittery, glittery gold ones too. This is pretty. It's very pretty. It's like festive. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Goodness. This is pretty too. That's a really neat clasp. You don't normally see them shaped like that. nice. Okay, but it is beaded. You can see the detail. And it's got these lovely little glass beads. Oh, wow. Those are really pretty. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oop. There is the other sugar skull earring. Sorry, <laughs> sugar skull earring right there. We've got another of these bracelets. This little bangle with the rhinestones. They do appear to be all there. Cool. Here's a bracelet with a magnet clasp and some more. I should just call those like barnacles or something because that's pretty much what they are. Here's another random chain. Random piece of chain for my chain pile. All right, so this is, this is kind of neat. Some really pretty like Aurora Borealis finish blue beads and little floral and like this coated wire holding them together. You can see the knot right there, but that's not too bad. Cool. I like that. Here's another little bracelet and it's got a magnet as well. That's really classy. Very, very classy. <laughs> Okie dokie, what is this? Besides ridiculous, not marked. Just some black feathers to tickle the crap out of you as you walk around. I'm gonna lock that, I'm not a big fan. Earring back, let's do one of these real quick. <laughs> Okay, let's look at this one. This is beautiful. These look like freshwater pearls. And then these stones, these are stones. They're like pink. I'm not good at identifying stones, but they are beautiful. This is marked, let me get it put together. Ooh, and the finding. The clasp is 925. What's the problem with you? Do you need to go to bed? 
This is RS China. It's just a made in China little pearl necklace. Honey, I can't understand you if you have water all in your mouth. Won't you go spit it out or something? Or swallow it or whatnot. I can't understand you. But that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got the mate to this earring in there already. Here's a gold tone bracelet. This is very precious. Look, it's got this little purple colored stone and rhinestones in it. That's a gold tone bracelet with no markings. That's really small and precious. Here we have a little stretchy pink pearl bracelet. Very cute. Earring back. Just a little silver stud. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, this is like that other one from the first video. It's like a purple one, but this is, of course, white. Very cute. Here we have a black post earring. Here we have a... This is cute. It's adorable, look at that. It's a little post earring and it's got a pearl and a rhinestone. And it's just fashion, it's not marked anywhere. Nope, not marked anywhere. That's super cute. Okay, now this is a very long, oh, I was gonna say, this is a bunch of plastic pearls. That will be fun in the lot. Another bunch of plastic pearls. Very long. It's like a parade of pearls. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oof. Alrighty. Um, let's keep going. It's gotten a lot easier since I got those tangles out. Watch those be my famous last words, right? Okie dokie. Let's do this pile and we'll call it a day. There's a broken jump ring. This one's broken. It's like those other ones, but you know. This one's pretty fancy. Put that in the lot. There's an apple. It's like an enamel apple with some little rhinestones and it's a pin. Pin pile. Okay. This says BC Fall Festival Award 1957. Huh. Crazy. I'll have to look that up. But it's on a little charm bracelet. Just a silver tone charm bracelet. That is otherwise not marked. Neat. Ooh, neat. Ooh. Oh, it's part of this. Sweet. Ooh, wow, look at that pendant. Jeez, OP. <laughs> okay, let's straighten this guy out. Give me your pendant. Ooh, this is kind of neat. Okay, so this doesn't have any marks on it, but it is definitely very, like, orangey coral colored, and it's got all of these chips of shell. Pretty sure those are shell. These shell chips and these little wooden beads and then these little wooden beads. Pretty sure those are wood. Yeah. And it goes down into this giant pendant. And it looks like it's mosaic underneath a resin top. That's really neat. Pretty, pretty. It's just a little, little kid necklace. Stretchy with a little heart. That's neat. Those have got to be like painted beads or something. And these little antiqued bronze discs on it. That's cute. Hi, Roxy. This here one is marked. It is from Holly Yashi. Oh, can you see? Can you see that? Holly Yashi. It's these really pretty beads in a gold tone. And it's got this little drop pendant. 
with the stone. And it's signed HW copyright. Almost looks like it's hand signed. That's really pretty. Put that in my lookup pile. Just a, another little kid bangle. What are you doing? She's sharpening her claws on a manila envelope. <laughs> Ooh, this is a cool, these are cool colors. Wow. Okay, silver tone chain with no mark. And it is very Southwestern with the turquoise colored faceted beads and the drop. Gosh, that's pretty. Isn't that really pretty? I like that. Nice. We've got a serpentine chain in a silver tone, not marked. Decent condition with these little discs at the bottom. Well, the rings, different textures. Then there is, ooh, this one feels like butter. It is also not marked like the other one, but it feels amazing. It's so soft, it's silky. Silky, classy, and beautiful. I love that. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> We've got a gold chain here. It's another one of those twisted rope ones. Gold tone, not precious or anything. It's not marked, but it's a nice chain. I might have an owl to go on that. Maybe somewhere in here. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, chains. We've got another one of those. That's a nicer clasp, but it's not marked. It's that same, it's not as buttery as the other one, but this, that's nice. Maybe if I clean it up, it'll be so soft, just like the other. Check out this. Oof, what is that? Is it supposed to be a tree? Wow, I suppose it's supposed to be a tree. I was thinking if it was like this, it was like a demon or some crap, I don't know. This is really large pendant, it's kind of brutalist, don't you think? And it is signed on the back. It's hard to tell what it says. It looks like somebody just etched some stuff onto it. It's kind of cool. There's more dinnerware, more flatware. <laughs> earrings black enamel and that's probably silver I'll test it it looks like it this lovely little thing with abalone on silver tone bracelet not marked darling hmm. that's cute oops very cute. Silver tone, very lightweight metal. Little charm necklace thing. Here's a memory wire bracelet. It's kind of messed up, but I can untwist that later. Pretty blue earring. Here is a... Come here. Oh, that's missing a gem. That's too bad. I think I have one that size though. That earring is cool. We'll see if I have a gem for that. This one is a toggle clasp necklace and it's gold tone, not marked. And it's got this kind of deep red crimson ribbon and a simple little heart. Come here, a simple little heart at the bottom. Kind of hammered, that's sweet. Earring, plain old hoop. I don't think that's silver. It's masquerading, but it's not. We got... Mm -hmm. This is a lovely pendant. That should shine up really nicely. Got some beautiful beads. 
silver tone chain. There we go. These are pretty. That's really sweet. Purple, pink, and blue. ABC pattern. Hmm. Silver tone bracelet. Really, really cute. And this one was marked at a dollar for somebody's yard sale. If it sold, it was never worn. It is pretty. It is pretty. Some nice little beads. That'll go in like the kids' lot over there. Okay, what's going on here? That's a fun bracelet. And little spin around faceted beads on a gold tone. That's bent and broken. That's a sweet little. It's a sweet little stud, the gem in it. It's very plain, like one of those little rose gold ones you can get from like Claire's. And this is cute too. Oh, I like these. Oh, look, it's got the sizer, big one, small one. It's got these lovely stones. It's like there's a tiger's eye. Is that aventurine? That's maybe lapis. Hmm. I don't know. They are cold. But again, I don't know much about stones. And it just says made in China. That's neat. It's pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Come here. Let go. There we go. That's a fun little clip back earring. And it says JJG. Yeah, JJG. Huh. Cute. Okay. We got some of these. They're okay. Those go in the kids' lot. As will. No, this one's all messed up. We don't like that. This is a little tie bracelet. It's not tied very well, in my opinion. It's sizable. I think I'll still sell it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. I've got a fly buzzing around me right now. It's bopping against my box lights. <laughs> Okie dokie. So this one is labeled Liz and Co. That's a Liz Claiborne. See? And it is a little broken, but it is three strands of these silver, plasticky silver beads. And I think I can probably fix it if I want to. Nah, probably not. It seems like it's snapped. Okay. Craft lot. I think there are two more in here. Is Tango when you need him. He would catch this fly and eat it. Have a little protein snack. Okie dokie. So this looks special. The chain itself does not look special at all. It's just an over the head chain. I might test it just to be sure. But this is lovely. You can see how it's a shiny and also a matte finish on the cross. And it is marked down here sterling silver. Just double check them. G R E E I? Maybe? But that's cool. Put that in my testy pile. Just double check it. This is cute. Look at that. It's a sweet little butterfly with some gems glued on. Silver tone chain. No mark or anything, but that's cute. Hmm. <laughs> that's adorable. 
awesome. Well, that was it for this video. It was video number five, right? I keep losing track. Yep, this is video five in the Shop Goodwill California 32 pound box. And we are going to go ahead and call it a night. Oh, I thought this was an earring, but it wasn't. Go ahead and call it a night. I'm gonna drink some more wine and relax. I might stay up and do another video. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. Bye now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.